You must be tired. Yeah. I didn't get any sleep at all. And a full load of classes on Monday, I suppose. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. See the... Like, basically 12, 3.30. So, so you had a class at 8 already? Yeah. How long did that go? Till 9? Eight fifty three. And so then the next class is at twelve? Yeah. See. Basically twelve. It starts at one technically, but there's like work hours at twelve. Oh, so you have like a prep time from twelve to one? What's that class? Ceramics. Oh, so your art? Yeah. So what do you do? Kill time here waiting for the next class? Oh. Uh, I need to get some sleep while I walk across this half down into a hand. Fall asleep on the potter, pottery wheel. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you have time and you're not so tired, check that out. What time is perfect? It doesn't make any sense, does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Todd. Oh, I'm Carter. Hi, Carter. Have, we, have you been here in past years or is this your first year here? First year, second semester. First year, second semester, so you were here last spring? Yeah, it started this spring. Um, <laughs> it doesn't, does it? <laughs> but they actually, they, they did that title on purpose um, because it's one of those things like how fast is, you know, how fast is snow? Well, I mean. It's fast as snow. Right, it's as fast as snow. And so what time is purple's? Purple is the time of purple. Right, so they. So they asked that because, um, are you a senior doing post-secondary? Are you, are you graduated and doing college? I'm doing PSEO, but I don't know where I am in the high school. you have to ask me now. Oh, you homeschooled? Yeah. Oh, cool. My kids are homeschooled. My son's in his last year. So, um, so the, if you, are you familiar with the term postmodernism? No? Okay. Uh, well, a lot of people aren't. Uh, I'm weird, so I know weird things. <laughs> Does, um, so what postmodernism is, is kind of like, have you ever talked to anybody and like, let's say you'll be disagreeing about something, because I know no one ever disagrees, right? So you'll be talking to someone and they'll disagree with you and they'll go, well, you have your truth and I have my truth. You ever heard somebody say something even close to that? Yeah. Or like, what's right for you is right for you, and what's right for me is right for me, and we're both right. But let's say you both completely disagree with one another. So you, you both believe that you're right, but you're adamantly opposed. So let's, let's use a topic like a lot of people have very firm opinions on, abortion, right? So you look at abortion, and there, there's not a lot of neutrality with abortion, right? Uh, how old are you, Carter? I'm 19. You're 19. So, you know that. You, you've you been around the world at least a little bit. Yeah. You've homeschooled, so I would imagine you've learned quite a bit in that. And you know there's varying opinions on a lot of different things, and abortion's one of those. But there's very rarely a person who ha doesn't have some opinion on abortion one way or another. There aren't a lot of people out there who go, no, I don't know. You know, convince me. <laughs> so, what... So let's say you, you're talking about abortion, and let's say you, you're, you're, you're overhearing this conversation. You have this person over here is like, abortion, anytime, anyway, no matter what, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the reasons are, abortion should be unlimited, and there should be no regulations. And the person over here is like, no way, no abortion at any time at all. And the, then there's a neutral person standing there, and that person says, well, you have your truth and you have your truth and even though you both disagree you're both right well that's not possible you can't be on opposite ends of a conversation and have you both be right does that make sense yeah. well, I'm sorry. I'm I know you're really <laughs> tired and that's one of the reasons why that book it booklets called what time is purple because it, it addresses the idea that 
there's no such thing as absolutes. So, be, because it would be really hard in this world today if some if you went up to is that your is that your ride? Yeah. There you. Well, check that out. There's a there's a website uh, I think on the back page. Is it called What Time Is Purple? Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's actually called that, but I know. Yeah, whattimeispurple.com. <laughs> So I couldn't remember what it was. I'll stop my. Well, it was nice to talk to you. I hope you have a good day and get some rest. Don't fall asleep. Todd, don't fall asleep on your pottery wheel.